this new syrup recently from Skinny Barista. I don't know if it's, I think it's the same brand as Skinny Syrups. It's in the flavor French Vanilla. Oh my goodness, it is divine. It's so good in coffee. Oh, it just smells incredible as well. It's like my favorite thing to put in iced coffee at the minute. I only do a little, a little dribble. Like so. Anyway, good morning everyone. I hope you all have having a lovely week so far. It is currently Friday as I'm starting this vlog. Doing a little bit of skincare, a little bit of makeup this morning. The bag's under my eyes. I don't know if it's this lighting or what, but she's looking tired today. I'm trying to be really on it with my skincare routine at the minute, morning and evening. I feel like it's a really nice start to the day, just getting up, taking like 10 minutes to do all of like my serums, moisturizer, oil. I have a lot of tools, like a lot of beauty tools that were just sitting in my drawer. Like I have my new face, which is like the microcurrent device, if anyone's seen it. Um, and I also have my red LED light mask. Just all of these things that I'm like, why do I not use these? Like I have these really incredible tools to use in my skincare routine and I just don't use them so I'm trying to be really on it at the minute so I've done my skincare this morning I've put my robe on this robe was actually a gift from Rach when I got this house it's like my favorite present <laughs> anyone's ever got me it's so cozy I've not got tons of plans for today although saying that I think we might go to the cinema tonight to see the new Hunger Games, which I realise has been out for a few weeks now, but I've been so desperate to see it and I've heard so many good things about it. And I went to Mad's Self Care Sunday recently, which was incredible. I think she's going to be doing some more of those um, in like the coming months. Definitely recommend going and getting a ticket. It was just like such a gorgeous day and such like a needed day. I was feeling very... No, just not great at the time mentally and it was just such a beautiful day she did such an amazing job the gym like all of the staff at the gym did an amazing job as well it was just perfect but i was speaking to some of the girls that came to the self-care sunday about the new hunger games as well and they said it was amazing mad said it was amazing so i think we're going to go and see that tonight otherwise it's going to be a very chilled very cozy day at home i'm actually seeing mads and millie tomorrow evening which i cannot wait for we're gonna have a bit of a girls night out in manchester i think we're going to peter street kitchen and then albert schloss afterwards i feel like millie lives in albert schloss at the minute and i've not been in ages but i always remember having really good really fun nights there i don't think mads has ever been um so it's gonna be a really fun night hopefully and then sunday I'm going to my mom and dad's, um, so it's a really, it's a really fun weekend. I'm very excited. I thought it was still vlog today because I wanted to chat to you guys about some things around the house because I'm trying to make a few decisions about other sort of like parts of the house that I want to decorate, and I just need some opinions. And I always love asking you guys on YouTube because I feel like you always give really, really good feedback, advice, opinions. I think I've come to like the realization that my favorite vlogs and just like my favorite content to film on YouTube at the minute is home related stuff and I'm um, like decorating, renovating. I would so love to buy a house at some point that's like a, a proper doer upper whether that be like my house or if I was to buy something like smaller as like a little bit of a project where I could learn things because I just find it all so fun and I love sort of like learning the DIY aspects of things um I love doing the living room I'm so happy with it it's so cozy in there now that we've got the tree up also I filmed this for TikTok but I hand knitted this stocking and I'm so proud of it. I've never actually done any sort of like crocheting, knitting or anything like that before, but I've always wanted one of these really like chunky uh, Christmas stockings. And I thought rather than buy one, I just set myself the challenge of actually like making it myself. And guys, it looks so good. I mean, it's kind of hard to see like the size of it. That's my hand compared to the bottom of the boot. Um, but oh my gosh, it's so soft and it's just like the perfect size. And it was so easy. It took me less than an hour to do it. I got some new baubles from John Lewis. Just some more sort of like, I guess like patterned, just textured, slightly more interesting baubles. I only had these ones, like these kind of plain ones in red and gold last year. So I decided to get some more sort of like 
interesting baubles, shall we say. Okay, and then I'm gonna bring you guys on what is essentially gonna be a small house tour because we've got all of the rest of the rooms upstairs to decorate and actually starting in the hallway. So this is like the hallway. In front of me is the front door. Um, we have a very small hallway that is like one of my things in the next house that I would really love to have is just like a proper hallway where you can actually walk through and go to the kitchen. Like right now we have to walk through the living room, through the sort of middle section of the house to get to the kitchen. So I would love to have a proper hallway in the next house, but anyway, jumping far ahead. So this is the current situation. So we have the laminate here and then the stairs and the landings are carpeted. Firstly, I wanna get a proper sort of like side console unit made it's a very awkward space this especially having a radiator there which i kind of want to get rid of to be honest um and also the alarm it's just i've never found like a unit that fits in this space right to put like i don't know just like a mirror on so i think i'm gonna have that made because again the shoes just get dumped here we do have a thing um, like a shoe storage unit under the stairs so I do actually just need to move those we've just been lazy in leaving them there I wanted opinions firstly on the staircase because I want to um, put a dado rail in so currently we have this handrail with this kind of like plank of wood behind it so I'm thinking I want to take this out I have actually detached this first section here and remove this wood because I'm thinking I'm going to put a dado rail in all the way through the stairs and the landings and do the bottom half of the stairs in a darker colour and then keep the upper part lighter because you can probably tell but you know stairs just get so scuffed. My first question is what do I do about this handrail and also should we do panelling or should we just keep it just the dado rail and paint? I'll put pictures in the two options so you know what I mean but I'm thinking either like do I do like the box panels like we've done in the kitchen or just the dado rail. Yeah, it seems silly because it's a lot of thought to put into the staircase, but um, it's like the first thing that you see when you walk in the house and we do have two sets of stairs and two landings. So ideally I want to put a dado rail in and just paint them and put some prints up and make it just look a little bit more homey. Okay, and then we are now in the guest room, which does actually get used a lot because gosh, it's really, really bright in here. The front of the house gets so much more sun than the back of the house. As I was saying, it does get used a lot, this room, because now that my mom and dad have moved to up north near Lancaster, um, they're still working in Media City. So my mom stays at least once a week just to make the sort of commute a little bit easier because she doesn't have to drive all the way home to come all the way back the next morning. So this was the room when I moved in that I just, I just didn't even think about. I was like, I'm just gonna pick any bed, any carpet. No thought went into this room because obviously spending so much money on a house to begin with, I was like, this is just not the priority. But now that I've been in this house two years and my mom's using the guest room a lot more, I would just love to make it a more homey space. So I think for this room, because I've gone very sort of mature and, you know, earthy neutrals in the kitchen and the living room. So I kind of want to make this room like my girly fun room. <laughs> um, I'm not going to do it in the main bedroom because obviously me and Dan share that room but the floors, uh, the rooms on this floor, sorry, on the middle floor of the house, we have the guest room and then Dan's office and Dan's office is like his room to do whatever he wants. It's like his little man cave, like I'm just like, you know, you do whatever you want to do in here. So I'm thinking with this room, I'm going to do what I want to do and I'm going to make it my girly room. So I have some inspo from Pinterest. I'll put some pictures on the screen here. I'm kind of going for like pastels. I mean, it's not going to be like everything is pink, but I want to kind of have like maybe a pink bed. Um, I've seen one on Dusk that I really, really like. And then maybe just some really nice kind of like more pastel, bright artwork colors that kind of thing but yeah that's just so much crap in here currently like all of the um coven that we used downstairs because i am going to hopefully put coven up in the rest of the rooms the dado rails i mean you can see the walls they are just mucky from freddy but one question i did have about this room if anyone can give me any advice is i think i am going to take the carpet up in here which i do feel really sad about because as i said freddy loves playing in the rooms that have carpet in but the issue is is that for whatever reason freddy picked this room to be his like secret toilet room <laughs> so when he was a puppy and even like occasionally now um 
for whatever reason, probably in the night when he's not been able to wake us up because me and Dan are just like completely passed out. He comes down here and he has picked the guest room to be his like secret toilet spot where he just wheeze, poops, whatever. I mean, obviously the carpet is clean because I've cleaned it 101 times, but it's kind of just at that point now where like it just feels gross. I kind of just want to switch it to laminate flooring now. And I was thinking, do I do it myself? I've never installed laminate floor myself before. I'm watching some tutorials and things online. It doesn't seem impossible. Well, obviously it's not impossible, but it doesn't seem like it would be the most difficult thing for me to do myself. As someone very rightly pointed out on my living room transformation video, things just always feel so much more rewarding when you do them yourself. Do we think that I could fit the laminate floor myself or is that taking it too far? I don't know. I think the whole process would be obviously take the carpet up, remove the skirting boards, which is going to be, that was my least favourite job when I got this house. We took all the skirting boards off in all of the rooms that we fitted laminate, including the living room. I say I took them off, my dad took them off, he put so much time and effort into everything for me. But oh my god, it was one of those jobs that I just hated doing. I obviously you don't have to take the skirting boards off, I could just fit it to the skirting boards, but it makes everything nice and clean in terms of the finish. Part of me thinks I could, part of me is like, is it going to be one of those jobs where I'm literally pulling my hair out over how much stress it causes me and should I just get someone in to do it? But no, I've said it myself, I do want to learn these things and you don't learn without doing. But yeah, that's my plans for this room. I think that's going to be- oh! Excuse me. And then last but not least, sorry, I promise I will shut up in a second about the house. This is our bedroom. This is the main bedroom, which you guys obviously have seen. Again, we've got our little Christmas tree up in this room, which I love. It makes the evening so cozy. Like being in here watching a film or something is just so, so cozy. I do want to do something with this space. At this end of the room, we have currently the Christmas tree in one corner, currently a chest of drawers in the middle, and currently a mirror at the end. Basically what I'm thinking about doing is extending the drawers. So I probably have to get new drawers because this dresser, this chest of drawers wouldn't fit what I want to do. But I'm thinking about getting drawers all the way across um kind of like the wall so basically what there is now but extending to the wall each side and then putting shelves above um the end parts next to the tv to have kind of like shelf storage and like maybe a little bookcase or something because i'm very much in my reading era now um i'm really really loving reading at the minute so i have a lot more books to kind of like display and store a would it look overkill b would it look like something that should be in a living room because it would kind of look like I don't want to say a media wall because that's not the vibe that I'm going for. Um, but I, I don't know. Would it look right? Is it worth doing? Decisions, decisions. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, those are my debacles. Sorry, I feel like that was really, really long-winded. Those are my current dilemmas. If anyone has any sort of input, opinion, anything. Let's see what Dan is up to. Probably working. Oh no, you're booking the cinema. Huh? What? I said, let's see what Dan's up to. Probably working, but no, you're booking the cinema. No, I am working, but I'm... I didn't say you weren't. Calm down. Um, Have we ever shown everyone this room? This room's a bit of a work in progress, really. It's just turned into like a full-blown, full-blown house tour now. Oh, come on. Come and say hello. Come and show everyone how gorgeous you are. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You just look like a proper teddy bear now. What's everyone's, like, preference at the, cin at the cinema? I... I personally love to be on the back row. Okay, anyway. Um, I didn't know if I, if I was in the <laughs> like, or not, so I just went, Who hello. have you just said hello to? Oh my gosh, exciting news. So, I mentioned this on TikTok. I think I'm going to start ice skating lessons because I've been wanting to do that for ages and I just haven't got around to doing it. So, I've had a pair of skates shipped off that initially had inline roller blades on to basically have ice blades put on um and they're being shipped back out today i'm so excited so i think i'm going to start having ice skating lessons because another thing that i wanted to speak to you guys about actually i'm thinking about doing the 75 hard challenge in january like starting january 1st for anyone that doesn't know it's two exercises a day one of them has to be outside 
So, which is pretty easy really, because that would just be walking Freddy every single day, which we do anyway. And then I kind of quite like the idea of mixing up my other exercise throughout the week. So some days I'd go to the gym, some days I'd maybe do Pilates, some days I could do a home workout, some days I could do ice skating, because that would count as exercise. I could do like a lesson. I do kind of want to get back into my horse riding lessons as well, because I had so much fun doing those. So. Yeah, it's kind of, I quite like the idea of maybe doing like different kinds of workouts throughout the week. No, I think like going to the gym every single day, I'm just, maybe one day that would be for me, but I just, I like a bit of variety, especially when it comes to working out. I just get bored quite easily and yeah, I think doing different kinds of things would maybe make the whole like process a little bit more interesting as well. So if anyone else wants to do it with me um let me know rest of the challenge is obviously eating healthy um so no sort of like snacks or like unhealthy snacks so takeaways which i kind of like the idea of anyway because we spend a stupid amount of money on takeaway like we get takeaway way too often and i think the last part is reading 10 pages of a non-fiction book every single day whether it's like a self-help book or some sort of like entrepreneurial kind of bar. No drinking either, which actually wouldn't be difficult because I don't really drink a lot. The only time I drink is when I go out and I can just not drink for 75 days. Like that doesn't bother me. It's just one of those things though that like I, I would really want to stick to it. I would have to stick to it, especially if I say that I'm going to do it. Like I would have to stick to it. Anyway, I'm going to stop waffling on because this vlog is already like an hour and a half long and it is literally just me chatting crap. I'm just going to do some bits of cleaning and I also need to do my accounts which I'm really putting off doing because I hate doing my accounts more than anything. So I'm just going to do some bits of work and then probably get ready and we'll head out for the evening. What a little treat this is. I've got a few HelloFreshes at the minute. I'm really enjoying having HelloFresh again. Um, this isn't sponsored. I know I do work with them sometimes, but we actually had someone turn up at the door um, basically selling HelloFresh and he gave us a really good discount. So... This is the one that Dan's just made. It's the creamy chicken korma. Whenever we get a HelloFresh, I always get a risotto as well, if there's a risotto option, because they're so delicious, especially the tomato ones. But this smells bloody gorgeous. Thank you, darling. Oh, yeah, that would go. Oh my gosh, that's really This tracksuit is the coziest tracksuit ever. It's not actually a matching set, but they're pretty much the same kind of shade of grey. Yeah, this is my little cinema date outfit. We're not going to go for food, we're just going to go straight to the cinema. Although we are actually going to stop at Costco because we need some bits um, from there. Oh, look at Fred. I actually hate leaving him. I am that dog mom that just never leaves the house because I hate leaving him. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to take the camera just because we're literally just going to the cinema. So I will check in with you guys afterwards good morning it's now saturday um dan is actually out all day today so it's just me and freddie at the house as i mentioned yesterday i am going out with mads and millie tonight which i'm really looking forward to that's also why i'm looking a little bit more tanned than i did yesterday because i did a quick one hour express tan last night i'm about to take freddie for a walk he's been so lazy this morning he's probably the only dog on the planet that when you say the word walk he does not bat an eyelid oh my gosh the hunger games last night was really good as well we went to see it at the Odeon Trafford center and i really need them to give that cinema a makeover it's actually really weird go into it now because that was always my like go-to cinema when I was younger and throughout high school and things and I hadn't been in ages and if anyone is from Manchester and used to go to the Odeon at the Trafford Centre a lot obviously they used to have like the desk where you would go up you would chat to someone get your ticket whatever um all of that is gone now like it's literally just screens where you like select your own tickets and you also order your food and drink from there which it was just so weird I was like this is just not what I'm used to at the cinema um, I guess that's how everything is now, like you do everything yourself on like self-checkouts and things, but I kind of missed it. I used to like being able to go up to the desk and like chat to someone, ask them like what films they'd seen or like what they recommend, um, and there's not really any of that now in this modern age, but the film was really, really good. I, I don't know if I would say, I don't know if I would put it above the original Hunger Games, but I did really enjoy it. 
and the casting was really really good loved the music rachel i don't know how you pronounce her last name but who played lucy gray her voice is incredible like it literally gave me goosebumps as i was watching it it was it was really interesting actually like seeing the story of snow when he was younger and how he kind of like progressed into the person that he obviously was in the hunger Games. doesn't he look so handsome in his little fleece are you excited we're going on a walkies. Oh, you're such a gorgeous boy. Guys, can we take a moment for the glam? I ordered these lashes on TikTok shop literally yesterday and they arrived today, which I wasn't expecting them to. I was just going to put like strip lashes or something on, which is actually really funny because in my last video i was like oh you know i feel like i'm in my natural makeup era now like i don't really wear strip lashes let's just erase that let's just forget i said that because these lashes are to die for they're actually cluster lashes but they're like an l curl lash which is what i get when i have my lash extensions done i'm obsessed with them i mean they looked a little bit crazy when i first put them on because i had no other makeup on and they were a little bit fiddly to apply but they've definitely been worth it. I feel like they look really, really cute now. But anyway, yeah, this is makeup of the night. I love it. I don't know what to do with my hair. I'm kind of tempted to do maybe like a side part in situation. I kind of wanted to do like French twist bits down. Do like sultry updo vibes. There's an absolute hurricane going on outside. So I feel like whatever I do hair wise, it's potentially going to get ruined. It, it would have been perfect if I was having like a slick hair day, like a slick pony hair day. <laughs> Can you hear the wind? I've not actually ordered from PLT in a while, but they had some really cute faux leather pieces, like skirts, jackets. We have this little like vest top and i did get the matching shorts let me try this on a sec I mean, this is absolutely not practical for the weather because there's some sort of hurricane going on outside but my thought process was is that i could layer some like thermal tights with some lace tights and wear boots with it i'm seeing a lot of like red leather at the minute and i kind of wanted to like jump on board the red <laughs> the red leather train it's not really what i would usually wear but i kind of like that i feel like i have such a weird variety of taste when it comes to fashion like i love wearing long maxi skirts blazers very like classy things but then i also saw this red leather hot pants and vest set and i was like love that too i mean you can't even fully see there it's times like this when I really wish you guys were like here with me so that you could tell me because I actually need some opinions. Dan's not even home. Okay, I'm literally about to run out of the door, but I've ended up just going with my PLT blazer dress and then I'm going to do boots because I'm determined to wear boots <laughs> this evening. It's too cold for heels. I don't think I'm going to take this camera just because I always worry about losing my camera on a night out. Also, not my riding socks, <laughs> but under my boots. So, yeah, outfit of the night. Oh, it's a very fluky baby. It's a very fluffy baby. Let's put you on your bed. You know, I just feel like I'm a terrible vlogger sometimes because I did really want to film and vlog bits of Saturday night, but as soon as I got out and I was with the girls, I was just having such a good time, I completely forgot to vlog. We ended up spending pretty much the whole night in Albert Schloss, and me and Millie didn't get in till 3 a.m which is just unlike me because I am a grandma now. So I was actually quite proud of myself for staying out that late. It's now Tuesday, so I am gonna end this vlog today, but I quickly wanted to unbox my ice skates because they arrived yesterday. And I really wanted to get them out, but I also wanted to unbox them on camera because I know I did mention the fact that I wanted to maybe start ice skating lessons earlier in this vlog. So I thought we could have the shared experience of unboxing them together. You obviously know what the skates look like because as i said they used to have roller skates on them like they used to be roller skates i also had to ship it in a hello fresh box because i could not find another box that would fit these skates in i sent them off to everglides which is where i actually got the skates from initially and they are amazing customer service wise so helpful 
Um, I had like a full consultation to kind of figure out what style of boot would fit my feet the best and things. Um, yeah, just they were just amazing. Moment of truth. Oh my god. Oh my God, they are actually beautiful. Oh my God, they're literally perfect. I'm obsessed with them. So yeah, they did have um, rollerblades on previously. I actually bought these during COVID because I don't know if anyone remembers, but at the start of 2020, oh my gosh, was it that long ago? I think it was that long ago. I started a series right at the start of the year where I was gonna do monthly challenges. So I think the first month was like basically a four week transformation challenge. So I went to the gym every single day. And then the second month I ate vegan for 30 days. So that was like my challenge for 30 days was to stick to a vegan diet. And then I actually was gonna do roller skating as like a 30 day challenge. I was basically just gonna try like a bunch of different like hobbies, things like knitting, crocheting, which obviously I've started doing now as well, because I just think it's really fun to kind of like learn new things and try new things. I feel like when we're young, or especially when I was younger, I always loved trying different hobbies. I guess as an adult, you kind of just like put it on the back burner a bit or certain things just feel a little bit silly to start. Like I kind of thought that with ice skating, I was like, I'm so past the age of learning to ice skate because most people would have started ice skating when they were like really, really young. But I just, I don't know. I don't want to kind of like limit myself in terms of what I try and what I do just because of like I feel like a little bit too old to do it so yeah that's why I actually had these skates because I was gonna do 30 days of roller skating and then COVID hit so I pretty much just had these boots sitting in like a cupboard for years and years and I've only just got around to getting the blades put on them so yeah I think I'm gonna try to book some lessons for January I have found someone at Altrincham Ice Ring that I know does private lessons. I messaged her maybe a couple of months ago, so I'm hoping she's still there. I think lessons is the best way to go about it as well, because part of me thought like, obviously you can just go down to the ice rink and practice yourself. I messaged Erin as well, if anyone follows Erin Williams, she is so beautiful. She's one of like my favorite content creators as well. Her content got me through COVID because she also started taking skating lessons. And she said that it's really, really worth doing. Like it's good to have the lessons rather than just practicing by yourself, because obviously like you can pick up bad habits if you're practicing yourself. Um, and XYZ so yeah I'm hoping I can find an instructor to do private lessons with. I kind of wish like I could do it with a friend I feel like doing it with a friend would be really fun but I also don't I don't know if any of my friends would be down to do it maybe I need to ask them Millie might be like down to do it. I've also done a couple of cluster lashes today because after doing them on Saturday I forgot how much I love them. These ones from Kiss are actually really nice I've only done two on the very outer corner to make it kind of like natural looking but winged um and i feel like they kind of just look like really natural lash extensions so i think i'm going to start doing these for day to day i have to say as well because i always see on tiktok especially um if anyone does a video about cluster lashes there's often comments of people saying that cluster lashes and the glue have ruined their eyelashes so for anyone that uses cluster lashes and finds that they ruin their lashes or they really struggle to get the glue off this glue from Kiss, it's the Falscara Remover. So I use their Falscara Bond and Seal. And then to remove, I use their like specific remover. If I try to use just micellar water to get the glue off, it does not work. Like it literally doesn't budge. Obviously it's a stronger glue than like your typical lash glue because it keeps them in place so, so well. Yeah, if you're someone that wears cluster lashes a lot, I'd really, really recommend getting this remover because it will just make your life so much easier. Look at this sleepy boy. Hi, baby. It's so cozy in here in the evening with the tree on. I'm still only on season two of Gilmore Girls. I'm really enjoying it. It's just taken me a while to watch for some reason. I think it's because me and Dan have been watching a couple of things together, but I'm going to sit and watch an episode now whilst I'm uploading this vlog. Yeah, I think I'm going to end today's vlog here. I realise it's been quite like a chilled, chatty vlog. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. I've honestly just enjoyed like catching up and yeah, just like going through house stuff and future plans, like plans for the start of next year, that kind of thing. I've kind of decided in my head that the guest room is gonna be the next room that I tackle. So I'll probably start filming that sort of like room transformation soon. 
Um, but if there's anything else that you guys want to see in the meantime, then definitely let me know. Thank you so much for watching anyway. I hope you're all having a lovely week so far. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.